Now I am going to discuss about the applications of a DC generator. So as we all know the DC generator is a machine which converts mechanical power into electrical power. The energy conversion is placed is based on the principle of production of dynamically induced EMF. Whenever a conductor cuts the magnetic flux, a dynamical EMF is induced in it according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. So when you consider the types of DC generators, there are two types of DC generators. One is the separately excited and the second one is the self-excited DC generators. So whereas in case of separately excited DC generator as we have already discussed, so D separately excited DC generators are those whose file magnets are energized from an independent external source of DC current. Whereas in case of self-excited DC generators, these are those whose field magnets are energized by the current produced by the generators themselves. So if you consider the applications of a generators, first of all, if you consider the separately excited DC generator, these are generally used in the wadley node systems of speed control. Whereas if you consider the shunt generators, so shunt generators with field regulators are used for ordinary lighting and power supply purposes. So they are also used for charging the batteries because the terminal voltages are almost constant or can be kept constant. So they are used for charging the batteries. So shunt generators with field regulators are used for power supply purposes. So if you consider the applications of a series generator, series generators are not used for power supply because of their rising characteristics. However, their rising characteristics make them suitable for being used as boosters in certain types of distribution systems, particularly in railway service. So the basic applications are very less so they are used in series ARC arc lighting, series incandescent lighting, series booster for increasing the voltage. So coming to the applications of compound generators, compound generators are further divided into long shunt and short shunt and in turn based on the cumulative or differential it is further being divided. The cumulative compound generator is the most widely used DC generator because its external characteristics can be adjusted for compensating the voltage drop in the line resistance. Hence, such generators are used for motor drives which require DC supply at constant voltage for lamp loads and for heavy power service such as electric railways. So the differential compound generator has an external characteristic similar to that of a shunt generator but with large demagnetization armature reaction. Hence it is widely used in arc welding where larger voltage drop is desirable with increase in current. So these are nothing but long shunt and short shunt compound generators in motors of electrical steam railroads and railway circuits these are gen widely used. So these are the applications of a DC generators. So as we all know the three generators one one first is the shunt generator where the field winding is connected in shunt across the armature whereas the series the generator where the field winding is connected in series with the armature and third one is the compound generator. It depends upon the combination of shunt filters and series filters connected across the armature circuit. So 